everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this Mod Square Bucket Hat, which is an easy bucket hat to work. I have my sample here. It has worked using 100% cotton yarn. I'll be showing it to you today in Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. And uh, you're going to work it holding two strands of yarn together. So it's going to make the fabric a little bit thicker. I'll be working it today in two different colors. Uh, my color A will be this stone color and color B will be this pewter color. In the sample here, I've worked it using the uh, vintage color, I believe it was called, along with the pewter. So the hat is constructed working seven motifs around the band and your hat top separate and then you join them together before you work the brim of the hat which I am going to show you. So it's an easy project to work. Uh, you're going to need approximately two balls of the lighter color, your color A, so this is my stone color, and then you're going to need only one ball of the darker color because you're not going to use very much of it but as we are holding two strands of yarn together if you find it easier to work with two balls you may just want to grab an extra ball of the color B your darker color you're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. Links to all of these materials can be found in the description of the video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which you may wish to follow along. Uh, it's on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and again the direct link is there for you. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Feel free to say hello down in the comments and of, and of course if you make this hat please uh, tag me on social media so that I can come and admire it. So let's gather our things together and get started on the Mod Square Bucket Hat. Now as we begin I should make one more note. The sizing of this bucket hat is for an adult head so a 21 uh, to 23 uh, inch circumference. Um, the finished hat measures about 23 inches across. So we're going to start by working these little motifs and you're going to need to make seven of them. So we're going to start by taking our color A. Today I'll be working with this stone color and you're going to hold two strands of yarn together. So you're always working holding on to the two strands and you're going to start by making a slip knot. These little motifs are worked in a round. So start by chaining two. For round one, into the second chain from your hook, you're going to work eight single crochet stitches all into that second chain. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once you have your eight single crochet stitches worked all into the second chain from your hook, you'll join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You will notice that your stitches are quite tight because we are working with a five millimeter along with two strands of yarn. You're then going to chain one for round two single crochet into your first stitch. Into your next stitch work three single crochet stitches. This is going to form our first corner. single crochet into the next stitch and work three single crochets into your next. We're going to repeat that all the way around single crochet into your next stitch and three single crochets into the next. Now 
one more time, single crochet into the next stitch, followed by three single crochets into the next, and then you should be all the way around to your first stitch. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top. You're then ready to begin round two. For round two, chain one. We're not going to turn our work. Begin round two by working a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. So I worked in the same stitches joining and into the next stitch. Into your next corner stitch, in your next stitch, work three single crochet stitches. Next, work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And three single crochet stitches into your next corner stitch. We're going to repeat that all the way around, one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. followed by three single crochets into the next stitch. One single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And three single crochets into the next stitch. You then have one stitch remaining and into this final stitch, we're going to work a single crochet, but we're going to switch to our color B. So to switch to our color B, you're going to insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, drop your color A, pick up your color B, again you're working with two strands held together, and place it on your hook and pull through. You're now ready to begin your round four, working with your color B. So we're going to slip stitch, join into that first stitch. And I'm going to leave my color A attached, just down there on the side there. And I'm going to work over top of my tails of my color B, so that it's easier to uh, secure them in the end. So join with a slip stitch, now working with your color B. For round four, chain one. You're going to single crochet into each of the first three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. Now work three single crochets into your next corner stitch. single crochet into each of the next five stitches. And work three single crochets into your corner stitch. You're now going to repeat one single crochet into each of the next five stitches, followed by three single crochets in your corner stitch, all the way around until you come uh, back to the beginning. In your final stitch of this round, you are going to be switching back to your color A. I've come all the way around, now in my round four, I have two stitches remaining. There's one, and in my final stitch, I'm going to switch back to my color A, and your color A should still be attached down here at the back. You're just going to pull it up and pull through. You can then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch using your color A. I'm going to once again work over top of my tails of my color B just to make it easier when I weave in. Um, but you can go ahead and also fasten 
or just snip those off because we're all done with the color B for now. For round five with color A, we're going to chain one single crochet into each of the next four stitches, beginning with the same stitches joining. And then work three single crochets into your first corner stitch, into your next stitch. Now single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. And work three single crochets into your corner stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches and three single crochets into your next stitch all the way around uh, until you come to your final side where you should have one single crochet in each of the final three stitches before joining with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Once you come all the way around at the end of round five, you have three stitches remaining, so you're going to single crochet into each of those remaining three stitches, and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At this time, you can fasten off your color A and weave in any ends that are remaining, and you're going to repeat the steps for this motif six more times. So you want to have a total of seven of these little squares and then meet me back here and we will begin to join them together. Once you have worked seven little squares, you're then going to join these squares together. So what you're going to do is just start and there are different ways of joining squares. I decided to sew mine together so what I did was I simply uh, began by tucking in my end just on the wrong side of one of my squares. And then I secured it just with a simple knot. When you're sewing your squares together, you only need to use one strand of your color A and your yarn needle and just cut it to a length that you're comfortable working with. Once you have uh, attached your yarn, you're just going to pull it through to the front, taking your two motifs and lining them up. I have the front side facing. You're just going to making sure that you have them lined up perfectly because you don't want to skip any stitches. You're going to simply just uh, come out through the top and down through the opposite side in the matching stitch. Pull it through and then you're going to come up the other side and then down. I simply did this through each stitch and then you can either fasten off and weave in those ends and then reattach on the other side or I'll show you just a quick little trick that I did because I really don't like weaving in ends so this cut down a little bit of time. Continue to sew across. You want them to be evenly matched. So once I came across, up at the top there, I inserted my hook back down so it goes down to the back. And then instead of fastening off and weaving in my ends each time, I just turned it over and because this is on the inside of the hat, 
I simply thread my needle through to the other side. Like so. Bring your needle back up to the front in that corner stitch. Take your next motif and then attach it. So you want to connect these so that they form a ring and this is going to form the bucket of your hat. So you want to join each of these along the side and then join it together uh, all the way to make your ring. And once you've done that, you can meet me back here. You want all the right sides facing, make sure you're not mixing and matching them and uh, meet me back here and we'll continue on with the pattern. So I am just about finished sewing all of my motifs together. I'm now just joining the final two sides of my squares to make them into a ring that will form the bucket of my hat. So once you have joined them all together, once again, fasten off, tuck in any tails that might be still showing. And this is what it will look like. Okay, so it's joined on all sides. The right sides of your squares are facing. We're then going to, once again, using two strands of yarn held together in our color A, we're going to work an edging around the top and the bottom of these squares, which will make it much easier when it comes to attaching the hat and uh, the brim of our hat. So you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch anywhere on the top or the bottom of your hat. Again, we're working with two yarn, strands of yarn held together. You're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around, working a single crochet two together in the seams. So I'm going to show you that when I come around, or across, I suppose, uh, to my first seam. So you're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the center corner stitches on your motif, so that's this one right here, you're going to work a single crochet two together first by inserting your hook into the first corner seam and then into the next corner seam on the other side. So insert your hook yarn over and drop a loop and then across to your next corner seam insert your hook draw up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops you'll want to keep it fairly tight but that's just going to bring that little dip uh, up to a better height for attaching to your hat top and brim you're then just going to continue working single crochet in each stitch across, single crochet two together into your corner stitches and so forth all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch, fasten off, weave in your ends and then repeat it for the bottom. Once you have worked your round of single crochet stitches around the top, and the bottom of the bucket of your hat. You can weave in your ends. You can then set this aside. You're now going to work on the top of the hat, which is worked as a circle. So once again, taking two strands of yarn, holding them together, I worked my top in color A. You're going to make a slip knot and chain two, just as you did for the square. You're then going to, into that second chain from your hook, work eight single crochet stitches all into the second chain.
You may also use a magic ring uh, instead of the chain two if you'd like to make sure that your center stays quite tight. If you find that your center opens up too much, just simply at the end, uh, you can even use the tails that you uh, have left over or another piece of yarn and pull or cinch the top of your hat closed. Once you've worked your eight single crochets, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Next, for round two, you're going to chain one and into this first stitch, the same stitch as joining, work two single crochet. And then two single crochets into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 16 single crochet stitches. You'll join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round two, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Chain one, do not turn your work. For round three, you're going to single crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then work two single crochets into your next stitch. Repeat that single crochet into your next stitch, and work two single crochets into your next. You're going to repeat that all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round you'll have a total of 24 stitches. For round four, you're going to chain one, single crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then work two single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that single crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch, and you'll have a total of 32 stitches. You're then going to continue working increase rounds so your next round will have a single crochet in the next three stitches two in the next then the next round round six single crochet in the next four stitches two stitches in the next and so forth until you complete round nine where you have single crochet in each of the next seven stitches and then work two stitches in the next stitch so I'm going to leave you to work your increase rounds. You want to have a total of nine rounds for your increase rounds. At the end of this, you should have 72 stitches in a final round and the top of your hat will be complete. You can meet me back here. Once you have completed the top of your hat, so you've worked nine rounds and uh, have ended with 72 stitches. Now you may have 70 stitches on the brim of, or the bucket of your hat, that's okay. And then 72 on here. Uh, what we're going to do when we work the top of our hat is at some point, you're simply going to uh, either skip a stitch on the top of your hat or work a two together. It's really up to you. So what you're going to do is once you have your top and your bucket done, you're going to turn the bucket inside out so that the wrong side is facing. And then for the top of your hat, you want also the wrong side facing. We're going to now slip stitch in each uh, stitch all the way around, working through the front loop only of the bucket hat motifs. So our front loop is the loop that's facing us on the back of the fabric. And the back loop only of our hat top. OK, 
Okay, so we have the front loop. This is the loop that's closest to us and the back loop only of our hat top. We're going to join our yarn with a slip stitch. We're going to work through both thicknesses and you're going to slip stitch front loop only and then corresponding back loop only realizing that you're going to skip a stitch on the hat top eventually and uh, you're going to do that all the way around to join them together. If you don't want to skip a stitch you can simply work uh, a two stitches together around the top of your hat. So keep going, slip stitch all the way around. When you come back to the first stitch, join with a slip stitch. Once you have attached the top of your hat to your sides, you're going to turn your hat so that it is right side out. We're now going to work the brim of our hat. So taking our color A once again, we're going to join our yarn with a slip stitch in any stitch along the bottom. We're now going to working in the front loop only. So this is the front loop, the loop that's closest to you. You're going to begin round one by working a single crochet into each of the first nine stitches. Again, we're working in the front loop only and I'm just working over top of my tail, which is why you're seeing these two extra strands. So single crochet in each of the first nine stitches. And then work two single crochet stitches into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. One single crochet into each of the next nine stitches followed by two single crochet in your next stitch. When you come around at the end of round one you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch you should have a total of 77 stitches. You're then going to chain one. Now for the rest of the hat brim we will be working under both loops of our stitches. So for round two we're simply going to single crochet working under both loops in that same stitch as joining and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round three you're going to chain one, continue working in the same direction and under both loops we're going to single crochet into each of the first ten stitches. You're then going to work two single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that one single crochet into each of the next ten stitches followed by two single crochets into the next 
When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of your round three, you'll have a total of 84 single crochet stitches. Join with your slip stitch, chain one, do not turn your work. For round four, we're going to work another round of single crochet, so single crochet into that first stitch, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round five, we're going to chain one, single crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. And then single crochet, or work two single crochets, into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around, single crochet into each of the next 11 stitches, and then work two single crochets into the next stitch. Join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 91 single crochet stitches. For round six, chain one, do not turn your work. We're now going to work one single crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. This time when you come around to your final stitch, we are going to switch to our color B in our final stitch, and I'll show you uh, once again how to do that when I come all the way around. Once you've switched to your color B, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. So I'm here at my final stitch in round six, and I'm going to join on my new color for round seven. So I'm going to insert my hook into that final stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, drop my color A, pick up my color B, place it on my hook and pull through. We're now going to, you can leave your color A attached because we're going to pick it up in just a moment or you can fasten it off and weave in your ends, it's really up to you. Uh, we're going to then join with a slip stitch in our first stitch using our color B and you're all set then for round seven. For round seven, you're going to chain one in your color B and single crochet into each of the first 12 stitches. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and then work two single crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around as you did before, joining with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 98 single crochet stitches. When you come all the way around at the end of round seven, you're going to want to switch back to your color A, and your color A will still be attached, so you're just picking it up, placing it on your hook, and pulling through. You can then join with your color A into that first stitch, 
chain one and you can fasten off your color B leaving a tail to weave in. You're then going to for round eight you now using your color A single crochet into this first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Once you come all the way around at the end of round eight for your brim, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You can then go ahead and fasten off and that's all there is to working your mod square bucket hat. You're going, going to of course go and weave in those ends, but then your mod square bucket hat is complete. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe and check out some of the other pattern tutorials here on my channel and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.